What's up, gang? This is Nelly Charlie for Art Gang TV, where creative genius lives. Welcome to the show in the mic. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you, do the right thing. Click that subscribe button. We don't want you to miss a single episode because we don't want to miss you. In today's show, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about what the standards are of good music these days. What makes a good song a good song? Also, is radio playing good songs or is it all just a popularity contest? I have the opinion it might be a popularity contest, but I think when it comes to playing on radio, it's literally just about you pushing your work. But now, what makes a good song a good song? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I did think about some tips to help up and coming artists, but also give a little bit slice of my opinion. See if you agree with me, leave a comment below or click like. So, our first tip play your song for somebody who isn't you. Play it for a family member or a friend. I sometimes think the best thing to do is to play it for somebody who's in the same industry as you, somebody that you might look up to. I was talking to a friend of mine actually one time and he told me when he was producing beats he thought his beat was the shit. I mean I feel like as an artist everybody feels like whatever song you make is heat. You know what I'm saying? Until you actually listen to somebody you respect, listen to their work and you realize mm, maybe I need to raise the bar a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You need to be honest with yourself as an artist and think about Am I growing? You think your music is good, but you have to get to a point where you surpass the level that you think you're at. And you only do that if you go to somebody else, present your work, or listen to their work, compare what it is that you have to bring to the table and what they bring to the table. See what's what. Maybe you can grow, or maybe mm, these days we don't know. Tip number two. Do a quality check. I feel like I already addressed this in the first tip, but I will say it again. Quality checks are compare your work to the work of somebody that you respect. I think that's that's the best way to do a quality check. Sure, we all listen to music on the radio, on the internet, of artists that we already love, already established artists, but as an up-and-coming person, you need to be able to compare your work with somebody who's Obviously not on the same level as you, but who's also on the ground. You know, somebody that you respect, where you can feel like this is where you want to be. So do a quality check in comparison. My work, their work. What is it that they're doing that I'm not doing that makes their work better than mine? And tip number three. Plan the promotion of the release ahead of time. Mm. So... <laughs> when it comes to this, I genuinely feel like you need to have the audacity to push your work. And I'm of the opinion, do not quote me on this, ladies and gentlemen, but I think that people with lesser quality music are people who pop because they have the audacity to promote their stuff. And I always find that the best songs that we know or the best songs are the songs that people don't know as people in the underground, or, you know? I think that what makes um, hit songs hit songs is the promotion behind it. It's not necessarily that's a good song. I mean, we all know that trashy music, don't quote me on that either, is usually, <laughs> is usually the hit songs that we hear on radio and see on TV. So you need to plan your promotion. Make sure that you push whatever it is that you want to bring forth to the table. Amen. Tip number four. Ask yourself, is my music relevant to today? Now, when it comes to relevance, I think that you need to be honest with yourself as an artist. Are you in it to make music that you truly believe in? Or is the most important thing to you making sales? I feel like there are two different types of artists and the people who are more interested or concerned with making sales, obviously everybody needs to make money, but when it comes to artistry, you need to decide what's the most important thing to you. So if you're into making sales, you need to decide, are you going to be making music 
that sells mainstream or are you going to be making music that sells underground now if we're talking about mainstream you have to be relevant you have to like there is no going around this you have to be relevant you can't make music that only feeds your soul or music that only you believe in you have to you have to make sure that you fit in the grand scheme of things like there's a bigger picture there's a bigger media picture and everything has a place where it fits you need to figure out where you fit and stay relevant to that unfortunately it does box artists but hey if you're thinking about going mainstream and making that money honey you need to be relevant number five ask yourself who your music is for who are you making these songs for what is your niche your target market you know you can't just make music especially if you want to sell you need to decide who you are writing your music for that's the person that's going to buy your music that's the person that's going to listen to your song that's the person who's going to invest in your brand who's going to believe in whatever it is that you're selling that's the person you need to be targeting so for example if you're trying to make music for tweens <sighs> anyways if you're making songs for tweens, you need to make sure that you're making songs that are bubblegum, catchy, pop, songs that are going to be stuck in a person's head, songs that are unfortunately also going to fizzle out, if you know what I mean, because I feel like that's also what sells most these days. You need to release a single that burns out like this and then release another one. You always need to have another one in the bag, you know? Figure out what your target market is. And then if you think about a mature target market, I feel like those are not really songs that burn out because all the people like to, they tend to stick to albums. You know, you need to have a body of work. And they, not only do they come back for more, but they invest in that. For example, they will buy that one album, as in the CD, and then actually stream it or buy it online. Those are people who invest in music. So you need to be able to figure out who your target market is because then only will you be able to decide what the right moves are. Because if you're thinking about a younger market, those quick burnout singles are the way to go. But if it's an older market, you need to have a strong body of work with substance. Amen. <laughs> Tip number six. Okay, make sure you have the look to match the feel. Oh, how I feel about this, I am just torn into pieces. I'm split. I feel like we live in an age where we are selling the brand. We're selling a look. So people see music before they hear it. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in that way. Okay, so basically you need to have a look for the type of music that you want to sell. Of course that goes with deciding what kind of artist you are. So if you're the kind of artist who is trying to make sales, you're trying to build a brand, you're trying to be famous, okay? You need to have a look that's going to draw people in. And unfortunately that means that we see your music before we hear it. So in order for me personally, I feel like... <laughs> artists who are super glam about their look, about their brand. For me to listen to your music, I genuinely have to have the video in front of me. But when it comes to artists where I feel like their music has substance, I can listen to your album in my car. I can listen to your album sitting at home without having to watch the video. In fact, I am least interested in your video than I am in your music. You get what I mean? So you need to decide, are you going to be that artist who's about visuals or you're going to be the artist who's about the substance because i feel like if you're about the substance you can add visuals you have nothing to lose it's a win-win but if you are an artist who's about visuals yeah no we have to have music videos back to back to back to back to back honey okay that's the honest my opinion don't quote me <laughs> 